Hello everyone. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back once again to Have Your Say, View Your Thoughts. I want to say something here about doing good. That is number one because I have got two things to talk about today. Is there anything wrong in doing good? I don't think so. Because even biblically, you are allowed to do good. That is what the Bible taught us. That is the doctrine of the, of the Word of God in the Holy Scripture. For us to do good to all men. To be kind. And charity. 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 When you do your, when you do your charitable work. That is what the Bible taught us. And that is what Christianity is all about. Christianity is about living your life, putting into application all the teachings and the doctrine of Christ, mm -hmm. following his example, the way he lived on earth. You cannot extract that from your religion. You cannot extract, because I'll call it religion, even though Christianity is way of life, but when you ask, it's your religion. And there's not how you can extract the biblical doctrine and teaching of the word of God from your life. You can separate it from your regular daily life. That is what Christianity is about. It must be applied to your regular daily life. Living the example of Christ that he lived on earth. We must follow that example. And live based on this doctrine and the example he laid down for us. It can never be divided. It can never be extracted from our life for a good Christian. Absolutely not. There's nothing wrong in doing good. You do good, you get paid by evil. I have had a big time, as in live direct example of that. And it won't dissuade me from doing good. Because it is the word of God that I should continue to do good to all men. And I'll continue to do good. Even if I'm being repaid with evil, God that sees in secret will repay me. And I'm not even looking for any reward from any man on earth. My reward is with God. When God reward me in heaven, it will make it come to manifestation on earth. And it's not just on earth alone. My reward also is waiting for me in heaven. And that is the way it is with every children of God, every one of us. Even people that does not know Christ too. You see people that does not know Christ and the only difference about their life is that they don't have Christ. They, they are, they are, their belief is different from Christianity, but they are typical example of the way Christ wants us to live our lives. Nigeria. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, Nigeria, we have the south, we, the north, the east, and the west. Even if British colonization, I welcome Bobo ideology because it looks brilliant to us and it, it, it shows that it will improve and progress us and progress our country and we absorb because we are the most tolerant, the most absorbent in terms of accommodating strangers and being nice and welcoming to strangers. We are very good. We Yoruba people are very good in terms of making strangers feel, you know, feel at home. We are very, 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 very good at doing that. For Yoruba people. And because of that, we are still being punished up to today because we absorbing the uh, the people that came during the colonization, British colonization. Because some other tribes of Nigeria were like they pull up resistance, there was even bloodbath, and they hate Yoruba up to today. 
when you go into the gathering that is not dominated by your body, you have this set of tribe. They victimize you and treat you like a piece of trash. They will treat you with no respect whatsoever. They don't even want to hear. Once they know that you are from you are a Yoruba person, oh my gosh, that is it. That's the end of you. If they're nice to you before, their body language will change. And they'll treat you like a piece of trash. Should we say we shouldn't be nice because of that? I know that to me, I was in the asylum way back, sometimes way back. And people were talking about colonization and everything, and they were like, Auntie, what do you think? And I was like, well, from my observation, colonization, people look at it, they're looking at the bad aspect of it, but there is always good in everything. I am looking at the good aspect of it. And talking of that time, that period of colonization and after the colonization, the, the, the things were very, very good. And, you know, people are more comfy and rate of, uh, of poverty was really low as I did. And I said to the person that can you look at it now. Even the period of colonization is way, way much better than now. That people are suffering, no job. Some people couldn't even afford to send their children to school. And our new leaders are that with that idea now. Thank God that God has given us brilliant people to be our new leader. They're walking around the clock to fix the mess that has been created, that has been made over the years by some set of people that does not even care if the country is pro progressing or not. Thank God for the good leaders we have that are working, and I know that God will help him to do something in that country that would change the story of Nigeria. If he can do something about Lagos, and Lagos State was transformed, and he handed it over to people that are competent to continue his job. I know that God will help him to transform Nigeria also. Yoruba people have been up till now, I think, oh, we are still paying for it, for being accommodative, for absorbing the British colony. Why others rejected him? They rejected them. We are still paying up to today. They hate us for it. But it's in our nature. There's nothing we can do about it. It's in our nature. So, what am I saying here? What do we want to gain in? Oh, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to put this. The world is more beautiful than this. It's big enough to accommodate all. Talking of, talking of accommodating all, the advantages that the, the colonization brought to our country overweighs the disadvantages. If we look at it closely, it overweighs it. And I would say because, oh, because we are kind people, we are good people, that we should stop being kind or being good. And not generally, every nation, every nationality, every country, every tribe, every background have that same problem that we got the issue of backstabbing, betrayal, and, you know, bitter jealousy, everything like that. Amanda Learawa. Challenges in Wala ni omo Yoruba kwe. Amanda Learawa. Amanda Awa Lopo. Shubo ki shela ni wani kwa wala ni bo 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 o rile de toku no ati bo bo other tribes. Bo bo e yame ya toku. So we should continue with her good works, please. Never stop. But please, don't betray your brothers. Don't sell your birthright because of money. That is why I would say to everyone, regardless of your tribe, of your nationality, or your nation. Do good to all men. Never mind if you are being castigated and being punished for your goodness. Do good to all men. Sometimes it infuriates me also because I just, like, over many years, and I keep on, you know, you get punished for doing good. It infuriates me sometimes as well. Now, what the hell did they... Whoop, sorry, I used what the hell... <laughs> Now, what, what, what do they think they are? What do they think they are? 
that they should feel like they, they, they should, that they should like pick on other people, innocent people for your kindness or your goodness or because you're just living your life the way God made you and created you. Who do they think they are to make your life hell? Don't stop doing good. Don't stop doing good. They are the one that will end up in a hellfire. For what the hell? Or whatever that, <laughs> that I said. Because they will be the one to end up in hellfire. Keep on doing good to all man. The Bible taught us to be good to all man. Now, the second reason, that's my second point here of discussion here today. And I want you to give your opinion. Say your thoughts, just voice your opinion, what you think. Is it right for us to disrespect the memory of the death? And back to the time of British colony and everything and everything. When the queen visited Nigeria, the tribe that rejected British colony, they humiliated and disgraced her. And they had the audacity to, 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 to come publicly and laugh about it and show it publicly how they disgraced her. How she was stung, how the, the, the swamp of bees stung her when she came into their midst. And they go, those Ingbati, Ingbati, they see we Ingbati, Ingbati, and we other names that they call Yorubas. They see us as fool for being tolerant and being accommodative and, you know, being generally nice, generous, and just name it, and welcoming to strangers. To outsiders. They see us as fool. And they were laughing about him. How oh, they chased her. A swamp of bee chased her out of the, 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 the room where they were having meeting because they are not ready to show respect to her. Kings among kings, even in Nigeria, in Africa, in all over the world. Queen among queens show respect to one another. Kings, queens show respect, pay homage to one another. So why not? Well, for them to come publicly and make jest of it, how they disgrace and embarrass her and chase her out, that is not right. That is not right. And these same set of people too, they still make Yorubas, they still make us pay for our kind heartedness, for our for being accommodative. But we will not stop doing good. Nigeria as a whole, we will not as a whole, the, the, the nation as a whole, and all of the country, all of the nation that good people are there, we will not stop doing good. Because it's it, it for, for, for the Yorubas, is in our nature, is in our blood. Like I said earlier, keep on doing good. But one thing I want to say here for sure is that it is absolutely wrong. It is not right to disrespect the memory of the dead. Even if you say you will make Yoruba people pay for the rest of our existence, we will still keep on doing good. We will still keep on doing good and we have God on our side because we are doing according to the will and commandment of God to be good to all men. But all you Yoruba people, who are the Yoruba people, we need to stop. Stop selling out your own brothers and sisters. Stop backstabbing one another. Stop ganging up with other people, other tribes to backstab your own brothers and sisters. It's among other nationalities, it's among other tribes, it's among other nations. But when it comes to their own brothers and sisters, their own tribe, they put all those differences aside. Because they know that when they, when they help to promote their brothers and sisters, they are promoting the nation, they are promoting, promoting their tribe, they are promoting the country. They put it aside. 
And we Yoruba people need to remember this as well. Kanye Sheme, Kanye Sheme, Kanye Shabosi, Kanye, 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 Jirawa, let's say. May God help us all in the name of Jesus Christ. We need to be, we, we need to, we need to be loyal to one another. We shouldn't backstab one another or betray one another. We are brothers. Nigeria as a whole, we are brothers and sisters. We need to stop all this because personally myself, because like I'm saying it, so these side of people that rejected the colony time, there are many people among them also now that are liberal minded, that are not like minded to this shallow minded set of people. There are many that are liberal minded among them. And likewise among Yoruba, every part of, Europe, uh, of Nigeria, the north, the south, the east and the west. There are many people that are liberal minded and that is what makes us stand in unity as, an, as a whole, as a country, as Nigeria. And long live Nigeria. We will keep on standing. Despite all the uproars, all the effort and all the, the, the attempt of the people that wanted to destroy Nigeria and divide us, we will keep on standing. And God will keep Nigeria standing. God will keep United Kingdom standing. God will keep all his nations standing. They will fail again and again and again. They've tried before, they failed. They will fail again and again and again as the Lord live it. And God bless you all. If you have your opinion and your thoughts, share it. God, God bless United Kingdom. Long live the King. God bless you all as well. Every one of you that are listening to my voice, God bless you and your family have a lovely day view your opinion view your thoughts if you have contrary opinion you are welcome to view it and let me know what you think what your opinion and your thought is if you're comfortable to view it to, i mean if you're comfortable about it view it if you're not comfortable it's fine but god bless you all regardless if you view it or not god bless you have a lovely day.